I'm Owen. Alright. What's up YouTube users? This is a tutorial for the uh, inward wall flip. But what I do is the inward side flip because that's the one I'm more comfortable with. Alright? To demonstrate. Okay. What you really have to understand is how the technique works. You can't just hit the wall and front flip. You actually have to come at the wall with momentum. Convert that momentum up as you jump at the wall. When you place your feet, you're not pushing off so much, you're pushing up and out. If you push too far up, of course, you clip your feet. If you push too far out, you under rotate. So make sure you really have your side flips down. For me, the best way I have to work myself through it is well, first, of course, I make sure I have my side flips down. That good, alright? When you have your side flips down, make sure you can go here. Alright, a couple times. Watch that through it again. Push up, up, tuck. Alright? And when you feel more comfortable doing it, go for it. Remember again, this is an advanced move. So like I said, make sure you have your side flip down. Uh, enough comfortability. Or yeah, comfortable. Make sure you're comfortable with using the wall. Alright? Make sure you really understand how this works. Because when a lot of people do this, they overthink it or they underthink it. And they wreck a lot. And you can mess your shoulder up, mess your neck up if you fuck up at all. So make sure, like I said, side flip. Most important thing, if you can control your side really well, this will come super easy. The basics, I'm right footed, I go with my right foot off the wall, set, up at the wall, place my foot, as I push up and off, I kind of turn my hips out just a little bit, and then right about there I'm pushing off the wall, and I tuck, and as I tuck, it's not the arms going that way, it's my arms and my legs working together. So I'm here, and just like when you see me do a standing side flip, as I jump, my arms tuck this way, my legs come up this way, and I bring them together. It's just kind of like a spiral that spins and sucks into each other. So up here, and then tuck, all right? And this is the same thing for the front flip. It's just different. You're here, as you're pushing up and off. You're here, and as your arms come down, your legs come in, and you tuck tight. The same thing. So here. Up, here, tuck sideways, all right? When you're coming out of it, always, 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 when you're doing any flip, spot before you land, the most important thing. If you cannot see where you're going, then you better have good control or you better have some luck on your side or something. But just really, please, make sure you can feel the spot where you're gonna land before you come out of it. So as you come out of it, just like when you do your side flips and stuff like that, go the same way you see it, and open up the landing. So I'm gonna demonstrate a couple times. You saw the slow mos and you saw the angles. Watch them closely, all right? Study them. Understand how the technique works. Have your side flips down and make sure you're able to spot when you're coming out of the flip and you have enough comfortableness with the wall that when you push off, nothing feels awkward. Use a grip people off the can. Oh, excuse me. Um, when I started, I started it off a slant. All right, slants are a little bit easier because you can push off more, all right? And if you have any other questions, Throw them in there. If you have any pointers, throw them in there. All right. Those of you who are trying to learn this move, look in the comments. All right. Look for uh, help, advice, and uh, good luck in your training. Thanks, guys.